我有啲惊，因为我第一次食鹿。呢个要试啊 ！Last time in Macau, we dived into the history of Macau's cuisine. 其实我哋每一个屋企嘅小朋友放学翻去，系最开心会见到嗰个嗰碟餸。In this episode, we're learning about the Burmese Chinese community in Macau and the dishes they are proud of. 缅甸美食咧喺世界上个地位就唔系好高嘅，但系偏偏喺澳门咧都可以占个一席位嘅。Welcome to City Bites, Macau Edition. 我们在这里的周围绕着塔拉斯玛雅 He's Burmese Chinese, but moved to Macau over 40 years ago. Having spent half of his life in the Three Lamps area, he's an expert on the neighborhood. Yip is among the thousands of immigrants who settled here decades ago. In the early 1970s, over 10,000 ethnic Chinese moved to Macau from Southeast Asian countries like Myanmar, Cambodia and Vietnam to escape from anti-Chinese sentiment in the region. The majority of them were Burmese Chinese. They formed communities in a few places in Macau. The Three Lamps area was one of them. Yao 夜晚就去讀夜校，咁咧就可以誒可以讀到誒、呃、中文。Today, Three Lamps is known among locals for being a hub for the Southeast Asian community. Out of everything here, the Burmese restaurants are the most well known. Yip invited us to try some classic dishes at his restaurant. Mindy人呢就比较中意食偏咸偏辣嘅嘢，但系咧我哋就配合翻澳门本地人嗰啲口味咧，我哋就将嗰个辣度同埋嗰个咸度又减低咗，有一个鱼汤粉啦，诶同
。椰汁雞面咧就係湯，但係用嗰啲椰汁熬成一個一個濃嘅湯啦。面頭配嗰啲嘢係油炸鬼啦，同埋嗰啲咖喱雞啦。面甸嘢咧就比較中意食嗰啲連湯連嗰啲汁啊，同埋一齊食過。所以咧就攞啲油炸鬼啊落去咧就佢哋就索曬温啲湯。呢、这個椰汁雞撈面咧就係、是、中國人嗰、那個誒撈、呃、法，加咗面條嗰個餸咧，咁咧我哋就變為一個獨特嘅風味。但係呢個雞咧就將嗰、那個誒、呃、椰汁直接擺入落雞嗰度煮嘅，佢個椰汁係比較重啲咯。我勾豆油撈到勻曬啦，咁先分開一碗碗，跟住先再俾客人食，咁咧就比較撈得勻長啲咯。我爸爸係攬出嚟，所以就我哋就要廢手撈撈撈完之後即刻系啊，一日都系我以前，以前一日做十几个钟。香港我食阿蔡兰先生过咗嚟之后咧，就佢就见到我哋用个胶兜嚟捞下捞下面咧，佢就啊觉得几特别喎，几得意喎，所以咧就佢喺嗰个专栏嗰度写咗。嗯、mm, ，so I would say this is like a elevated version of Indomie because they mix it in a basket. It's not like you mix it at home. You only have a little bowl. This is the restaurant. They use fresh ingredient to make it. In the Three Lamps neighborhood, there used to be dozens of Burmese restaurants like Yips, but half of them decided not to continue anymore. The time has changed. Some people are more than a year old, they can't take care of themselves. Some people are more than a year old, they can't take care of themselves. At the remaining Burmese restaurants, you can find some unique dishes. For example, pork brain and awful noodles. 面條係要唐人先有得食嘅，係廣東我哋嘅鄉下傳翻落嚟嘅。廣東人中意燉豬腦，潮州人咧就中意炒豬腦。雜咧就有肉丸啦、豬肚啦、豬脷啊、粉腸咯。最緊要嘅湯底咯，個湯底係豬骨湯底嚟嘅咯。你係用其他嚟煲咧就唔啱咯。有啲驚，因為我第一次食。呢個要試啊！佢一夾就好易散咯，我發。係啊。OK。I think the pork brain is actually better than I expected. It's actually softer than tofu. The pork brain absorb all the soup, so I can imagine that it would be a great combination to add when you eat hot pot. If you've got a sweet tooth, there's also Burmese faluda. Paul, the owner of the restaurant, took over the business from his mother. Its Burmese-style desserts and snacks are quite popular among younger customers. There are three different jellies. Another one is the Sai Mai and the Kiya Zi. There are two different elements. One is the flavor of the food. There is one called Mian Dian Bao Di, and one is our signature Dried Fruit Cake. 你見到個雲呢拿咧融入咗呢個嘅飲品入邊咧 ，OK， 你可以同嗰個啫喱啊搞一搞佢。嗯，佢個質感係唔同嘅，我感覺佢似，即係綿少少，佢似蛋糕多啲，多過布丁。So this dessert is like a drink. It's like strawberry milkshake, and when you drink it, there are different textures. Hmm. Over the years, the Burmese Chinese community in the Three Lamps area has become smaller, as some moved out, blending in with the rest of the city's population. But Yip decided to stick around. 就算我搬咗幾間屋，都係喺呢度附近嘅啫。第一方便啦，誒二來我啲事業都喺細度啦，同埋我啲親戚朋友都喺細度啦。小朋友嗰時都係喺喺新聞呢個遊園嗰度玩啊，誒同埋踩下單車啊，捉伊恩啊，呢度就都係遺留咗我哋好多個童年回憶嘅。我哋都開始誒、呃、年紀大啦，咁就我叫翻我仔仔翻嚟，我爸爸交低俾我，我就一定要我我同佢有個承諾，我話我一定要做得好，將嗰個馬鄉就要發揚光大。
咁呢一點我都做到啦，所以我都應該比較滿足噶啦。Hi everyone, freelance area is very special because even though it's like a hub for the Southeast Asian community, it's also part of locals' day-to-day -day life. So it's not like this area is separated from the local. It's not like it's a comfort zone for the Southeast Asian community. I guess a huge reason for that is because of the culture. Because even though they are born in Southeast Asia, many of them are still Chinese diaspora. So I guess they still share that identity or like culture as a Chinese person with the local community. So tell me, in your home country, is there any area that is similar to the freeland? Area, and in the next episode, we are going to get snacky because we are going to try some almond cookies. Up next, we'll find out if locals are actually fans of the almond cookies that almost every tourist picks up as a souvenir of Macau. Stay tuned.